I have some soft baffling on the engine that keeps blowing out of place and I think I'm losing some cooling pressure. So on today's agenda, I'm going to remove and replace that soft baffling. Here's a quick tip. Ace has a pretty nice selection of aluminum pop rivets and aluminum washers for those pop rivets, which appears to be the perfect thing to use for installing soft baffling. Clearly don't use Ace parts for anything that's flight critical, but I think for baffling, it's a reasonable choice and certainly a lot less expensive than the specialty aircraft supplier. It is so hot outside. I am struggling to get out of my nice air conditioning truck, but it must be done. All right, here's the culprit. This thing has been bugging me for months. On my cowl that comes over this way, there's a bit of a uh, fiberglass uh, dam right here. And this soft baffle fits up against the dam. The, the high pressure side is here, so it, it blows in this way. This baffle will go underneath the dam and, and sort of blow out, creating a, an opening right here that I think I'm losing cooling air through. So what I would normally do is it, if this blows out, I would reach my hand into the baffle and you know <laughs> poke it back onto the other side, but it sort of deformed itself uh, pretty badly in the center here. So I think I'm going to drill this out, uh, go get some, I got some new baffle material, cut one to the same shape, and then maybe see if I can bend this hard baffle out a little bit. Uh, not exactly sure if it's gonna, if just replacing this is gonna be enough of a fix or not. So just gotta get to it. This is connected with these eighth inch aluminum uh, pop rivets. I need to drill these out and it's desirable not to make the hole any larger. So I think I'm going to use this eighth inch drill bit and then clamp the back side of the rivet. And then hopefully I can just sort of drill the head out without damaging the hole. So we'll give that a shot and see how it goes. I'm probably being paranoid, but on this rivet here, if I drill from this side, uh, shavings will fall down into the into the cylinder itself, and I don't really want that to happen. So I'm going to put a piece of tape here to try to catch the shavings. Let's take a second to see if we need to make any adjustments to the baffle itself. I can see good witness marks about a half inch to a quarter inch down here. Now this, this is the inside, this is the forward part. So this bulging area was what was coming up past the, baff, the uh, bulkhead. Maybe I should add a little bit of baffle out here and trim it down. This is just a rather full punch tip. I've had success just drilling these out, but these make nice holes. This is called a Clico. When you use these pliers to squeeze, it thins out this center post, and then you stick it through two holes and then let go and it thickens up and will grab, grab two thin pieces of material and hold them together. All it's left to do is install the pop rivets. The way this works is there's a stem and a flange and the, the rivet gun, this guy, 
pulls on the stem and pushes on the rim and it causes this edge to squeeze. And so if you put this in between two pieces of metal, it squeezes them together. Easy. So there you go, we're done. That was pretty simple. I should have done that months ago, but you know how it goes. While we're hanging out and having fun, you could also watch this video. See you guys.